Welcome. Today we are discussing the power rule of derivatives, which in order to basically um, understand the material in this lesson, it is advisable that you first be familiar with the limit rule of limit definition of derivatives, the definition of derivatives, the constant multiple rule of derivatives, and the sum rule of derivatives. So the last two admittedly are quite easy. So first, the rule itself. So the power rule states that d with this over dx of x to the n equals n times x to the power of n minus 1. Here, n can actually be any number, but um, in practice, we are going to just be looking at the case today for when it isn't, when n is a whole number. So the proof is as follows. We first write out the limit definition of, deri of the derivative. Next, we expand out the term x plus h all to the power of n all to the power of n into a partially expanded sum of terms. Now we do it as as follows. We write x to the n plus h times n times x to the n minus 1. And now for the rest of the terms we aren't really concerned about terms with x of lower degree. So we just write h to the second times a, where a is a standard for the other terms, minus x to the n. Now, x to the n and negative x to the n cancel. So this leaves us with Now, dividing out the common factor of h, we get that this is equal to the limit of which is equal to n x n minus 1 plus 0 or n x n minus 1. So that's the proof. It's very straightforward, nothing really much to it. So for some examples, we have d over dx, x to the second equals 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1, or 2 times x. d over dx, x to the third equals 3x to the second to the third minus 1, or 3x to the second and d over dx, x to the tenth equals 10 times x to the power of 10 minus 1, or 10 times x to the ninth. Now for a more applied example, let's look at a case involving slopes of, cur of curves, and in which you could theoretically, in which you have an applied example. So let's suppose we have a truck. Let's make it a red truck, because why not? And then this truck has a few small wheels, and it also has a piece of wood sticking out of the back of the truck. This will be important. We also have that the truck is going is tr is about to go up a hill, and the hill has satisfies the equation the 
question is, can the truck make, and now the truck has the wood positioned in it so that if the truck goes up at, a, at an angle greater than 45 degrees, i.e. has a slope greater, goes up at a slope greater than one, the wood will fall out. The question is, will the wool, wood fall out of the, tr out of the truck as it goes up the hill? So, to calculate this, we note that this is equal to zero when a hundred equals, when we, when we set both sides of this to zero, this is equal to zero, we have that. So then x squared equals 10,000, so x equals plus or minus 100. So the base here is negative 100, and the truck is going up here. So now the question is, what is so, now let's see what the slope is at this point. So the slope at x equals negative 100. So the slope is going to just be the derivative of h to the x, or equals d dx 100 minus x squared over 100 which equals 0 minus 2x2 two two minus 1 over 100, which equals negative x over 50. And substituting in negative 100 for x gives us negative 100, negative negative 100 over 50, or 2. So we conclude, since 2 is greater than 1, we have that the slope of the curve at x equals negative 100 is greater than 1. Thus, the incline is steeper than an incline of 1, corresponding to a slope of 1. So it's steeper than 45 degrees. So the truck will indeed fall out.